Today we are gonna be playing some lawn mowing simulator. So let's create a new career. Career mode. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. The mowers. Best name. Obviously, we're gonna go with the blade here. So our name. Oh, I'm just gonna go with my name. James. Boom. Secondary. Hmm. Maybe green for the blood of the grass that we're gonna be killing. Now you have a company of your own, you'll need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a test drive. Okay. Okay. We're engaged. Uh, once the- once on the grass now you- okay, well I already did all that. I already did all that. Oh, really? There's a wrong height? Maybe I should have read it. We're going. Uh, by holding R while stationary, you can engage Provi, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut. Okay. Oh, what? You guys see that on the edge here? There's little, like, specks of grass they want me to get. That just seems unrealistic. I wonder if it would matter, like in real life if you start going too fast, like, you're not gonna get an even cut. But I wonder in the game if it matters, like if I just started like, to race. This is full speed by the way guys. I'm actually pulling down the throttle and the gas as hard as we can right now. I don't know if it's mattering, well actually I can check if it's mattering. Uh, no. Wow, okay. This game isn't uh, as realistic as I thought it would be. So yeah, we if we can steer well, I can start zooming. Also in real life, if you're going too fast, but like you're not going straight, you'll leave like tire marks in the grass and that isn't ideal. So I wonder if we can do that here, like damage the yard. We are now, like I'm, I'm in this now. I'm like in the the grass cutting like pattern. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're doing it. Like I am one with this lawnmower. We started off going like inching our way, and now we're flying. I wonder if like I keep using this method, like the ring method, to cut grass in this game. If eventually like. I'll be so good at doing like corners and laps that I'll be like able to go into like a NASCAR game. I'll be like winning every race. <laughs> Cause I've just been practicing my laps in lawn mowing simulator. We're doing it. Oh, what the heck? Contract progress? Great work. In a real contract cover you'll be expected to cut all the grass? When a contract has been completed, you now have to store your vehicle on the trailer and then interact with your pickup to leave the location. Oh wait, cutting complete. Oh. The, the tutorial doesn't want us to finish, guys. I'll just turn off the blade. We'll get going, I guess. Let's see, actually. Does turning too hard... It looks like it is, look. It's like leaving dirt. You see that? So I think you can turn too hard and damage the grass. But I don't know if it actually counts towards like your points or anything getting deducted. So now we gotta leave. Leave the tutorial, that is. Oh, what the heck? The uh, steering wheel is on the wrong side, guys. <laughs> I actually forgot that was a test drive. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle, or if you would like, you can test drive another one. No, no, we are not test driving another one. We are taking this one. Oh, did we have like 3,000 to spend? Was that our budget? Oh, the dream begins. Achievement unlocked. While a mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are perfect for long edges and cutting around obstacles. What the heck is a string trimmer? Contracts require you to have a mower and string trimmer to complete them, so you need to purchase a string trimmer now. 
Oh, it it's a weed whacker. They're calling it string trimmer. I've never heard that. We'll go electric. Why not? Select the contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Which one's at the bottom of the map? Just the one I'm already on? I think so. Okay. Contract setup. Once you select a contract, you can see the information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you need to first assign an employee, vehicle, and equipment. Select either the employee, vehicle, or equipment option to the left next. So wait, we are, we're gonna have multiple employees? That's what it's sounding like. Employee. Yeah. At the moment, the only employee you have is you. Ah, okay. Okay. And we only have... Ah, I get this. So, when we have other stuff, we'll be able to choose. But for now, it's like, we only have one thing. So, we need to be five to six for cutting. And our recommended cut time is 26 minutes. So, we, we, gotta, we gotta do this kind of fast. Here it is. The grass isn't even that long. I do see some problem areas though. Okay. Ground check. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects. Ah, oh, that makes sense actually. Definitely do that in real life. Uh, you can choose to skip the ground check. And have automatic, uh, objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower. But this means you don't earn money or RP. Uh, yo, can we open this? I guess not. Right, let's look around for objects, guys. We have found an object. Oh my gosh. That is, that's an object, all right. Where are the other objects? They're hiding. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, that was like a whole crowbar. What the heck? Oh, and there's the last one. Let's go. GG easy. Oh, so we can switch between the strimmer or vehicle. Okay, so we'll start the engine. We'll get that throttle going. Our cut height is five to six. We're gonna do five, because we want them to you know, feel like the grass is actually cut. And let's go. Okay. So we're just gonna wanna start right here, I think. Ah, uh, your performance during cutting will affect how much money and uh, RP you earn from the contract. Yeah, mm-hmm. Very obvious game, but thanks. I'm gonna try to get really close. Cause last time we did not get close enough. But I'm also worried about, like, these flowers here. Like, we don't want to cut down the flowers. Am I crazy for calling it a weed whacker, guys? Is it a strimmer? And everyone knows it as a strimmer. And I'm the only one who calls it a weed whacker. Because I have never heard strimmer in my life. We can realign ourselves. I'm not going to try to do, like, a ten-point turn. We're just going to whip it around like this. Okay. Wait, we've already been doing this for four minutes? And we have like a 26 minute timer? Oh gosh, we gotta go guys. We gotta start picking up this pace. I haven't even started the trimming with the strimmer. So I'm gonna try to go a bit faster now, so we can stay in our uh, allotted time. Now this is the real world, this isn't some video game where you have unlimited time. We got 26 minutes, they want us out of their lawn. They got things to do. I can't even see. Just like in real life. When the camera behind you <laughs> is blocked by the leaves, right guys? And then this part, I'm not gonna even try to get that close to. Because in real life, you wouldn't even try. You'd just straight up get your weed whacker out. 
you wouldn't even risk it with uh, decorative flowers like that. Like on the edges, it's a little bit different. It's kind of like a little flower garden, you know? They die and they come back and you replant them every year, but those ones around the tree, usually you would have like bricks or something separating from the grass. I don't know why these people don't. Like rocks, something, wood chips, uh, and there'd be no way you'd take your mower up to that. So we're just gonna pretend that this is more realistic than it is. This isn't very ideal, by the way. You don't really want to be backing up because the blades on these type of things are not designed to cut the grass uh, like smoothly. So it'll it'll look very clear that you reversed with your mower in that part of your lawn because the grass will be cut differently. It, it's not like it won't work. It'll still cut it. It will just it'll cut it differently and it won't look good. So I, in real life, I definitely don't recommend reversing if you want it to look nice. I'm trying to just pick up the pace right now because of our time and I haven't even pulled out the strimmer. Like, the pressure is getting to me, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna disengage the blade and just pull this thing off over here. So all we do is we grab it and then hold RT, okay. Whoa, cutting complete? No, it's not. That is a bunch of BS. If we leave like this, they will be upset. There are straight up areas that I haven't even touched. We would not get our full check if I left right now, okay? And then see like this whole area, they were gonna have me leave. Like, maybe they would not have cared or noticed about the smaller stuff on the side, but are you seeing this? Yeah, and then this as well. Like, they expect me to believe it, that this would have counted as done. Okay. No! No! That's our second flower, guys! Oh, no. These people are going to be so mad. I'm sorry, people. I'm not good at this. It's my first job. No! I barely even touched that one! Oh, guys, this is going downhill. There's actually... The game's trolling me now. Guys, we went from one flower destroyed to, like, six in, like, a second. Oh, I see you, little speck of grass thinking you can escape. The timer stopped counting, so. I think we're definitely over the uh, 26 minute time limit, but I guess time just decided to stand still. I think we're pretty good, guys. Oh? Oh, look at that! Hey! There we go, guys. Let's just take a quick look at it. Too terrible for the first time, but I mean, yeah, we did lose Quite a few flowers in the process. Boom, leave location. Oh, look at it, guys. Not like amazing, wow, but it looks pretty good. Okay, we use quite a bit of fuel and a little bit of wear on the blades. That's expected, though. Penalties and fines, they charged us $5, which is completely understandable. We got charged $4 in flowers and $1.75 in collisions? What did we crash into? Wait a second. They paid us $300 for that? Guys, we did, We got $300 for doing that. They are way overpaying us. This is a vehicle garage here you can fish damage vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, part, change, uh, part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. First though, let's select your uh, current vehicle so you can maintain it. Okay, 59 cents to repair it. I'm not sure what we damaged. Uh, blades. We'll be charged 288. I'll do that. And then we spent a dollar ninety-eight in fuel. Where are they getting their fuel that we just did that much for only a dollar ninety-eight in fuel? Well, guys, I am gonna wrap up the stream there.